You know, this lighting looks really dark. Give me just one second. Much better. Okay, so, hi everyone. Welcome to Wednesday again. Sorry about not posting, but of course I was on vacation. So if you want to check out some videos that I took on vacation, you can check out my main channel, of course. Links will be down below. Um, so, I didn't get a chance to talk to really any of the members since I've been back. I just got back two days ago and just been busy um, unpacking and working and all that happy crap. So, but I did um, watch Rakarum's Monday post and so I guess today's video is going to be a makeup collection video because I guess that's the theme. So, a lot of my makeup that I buy is um, actually from the drugstore because I have tried, you know, higher end stuff and not so higher end stuff. And for me, the drugstore stuff, it works. So I don't see the point of buying, you know, spending triple what I would for really the same thing. If it works, it works. And yeah. And also drugstore products are a little more um, easily accessible in case I run out of something. I don't have to go to a special place to get it. But, um, yeah, so most of my products are drugstore products, and I don't really know if nail polishes count as a makeup, um, but I don't have that many, so I'm not even going to show those. I also don't have a lot of eyeshadows because I don't wear eyeshadows. I mostly have just, like, foundations and whatever. So, yeah, um, here's a few foundations that I just randomly found. These are, of course, Revlon's Colorstay. I have two different shades, one for right now when I'm tanned and one for the winter time when I'm not so tanned. Um, I have a blush, of course. I've complained about this blush and used this blush, and that's the Dream Bouncy Blush. And the lipstick, here's one. It's like a pink one. Whatever. Um, it's L'Oreal. Magic Perfecting Base Primer, which is like my favorite primer, but I don't use it all the time because I only use it when I want my makeup to be like extra good and here's a bag of just some random makeup of course here is a quad of eyeshadow that I bought for that fall look that we did a few weeks ago um, I haven't done anything with it since of course here is one of the first makeup products that I've ever purchased It's a Revlon age defying concealer spa and it has this kind of awkward brush apparatus that you paint your face with so I'm not so sure how I feel about it but it was good while it lasted until I found something better another foundation it's the dream liquid mousse I just talked about that in my foundation review and here is a powder this is Revlon's photo ready powder in light I don't know but I think it's light here is um, the Mineral Power Finishing Veil Translucent Powder, of course, use this to set my foundation most days. I, I used to use this, but now I tend to use these because they provide a little bit more of a coverage rather than just translucent powder. So I tend to like these a bit more nowadays, but if I ever run out, I just use this really quick to set um, my foundation. Here's some more foundations. These are two of the... Fit Me foundations, which actually I said didn't match my skin, but they may now, um, especially this one, but I don't know. Actually, maybe not. So here is a few. Oh, I keep cutting my arm. I'm, I have this bag here and I keep cutting my arm on this sharp point. Um, here's a couple of mascaras. This one is Maybelline's Lash Stiletto. Uh, mascara, which I like, but this one is actually probably four months old, so I should probably throw it away. Um, and this one is Color, Ver Color? Cover Girls Lash Perfection in, I, th I think these are both the blackest black. This one is in very black, and this one is in brownish black, so I guess this isn't the bra blackest black, um, but this is very black, so mascara. Here is another quad. Oh no, this is like a five. Um, eyeshadows that I bought for the fall makeup look that we did a few weeks ago. Here is a Mary Kay foundation, full coverage foundation in beige. Best for normal to dry skin, safe for sensitive skin. So I tried this, it's okay. Um, 
I don't wear it that often, so maybe I could try going back to it and do a review for y'all if you're interested. Here's another Mary Kay Full Coverage Foundation. This one is in ivory. So again, maybe I could try that. Here's a Victoria's Secret Beauty Brush Lip Gloss in Sweet Gleam. Um, if you can see that, I don't know if it'll focus, probably not, but it's just pink, it's glittery. Maybe I'll put it on right now. Here is um, Bare Essentials Bare Minerals Warmth, which is basically their bronzer, but I found a better bronzer, which I like better, which I use more full, like, every day, um, and it's their Faux Tan, Faux Tan Matte, which I'll get to that because I have to go through my makeup bag still, but this one is good. It's just, as you can tell, a little bit orange, not really feeling it, but it's okay. Here is a concealer. All the le lettering is like off of it though, um, but it's like CoverGirl concealer in medium. So yeah. And then of course my makeup bag basically just has my Too Faced bronzer, my other Revlon pressed powder, um, an eyeshadow quad from Maybelline, a Revlon primer, another concealer more mascara, eyelash curler isn't makeup, don't know why I'm including it in this video, um, my True Match foundation which I've been using, my Maybelline foundation which I've been using, here's the Faux Tan Matte that I told you about, I like this for like a highlight powder, it's the NYC Sparkle Eye Dust, I put it under my eyes. Um, and here is my favorite concealer at the moment, the Revlon Color Stay, but it's actually too light for my skin, but that's okay because I put it on before my foundation, so then my foundation covers it up and matches it, um, you know, a little better. So, and I also have like a random um, small ass eye liner pencil. Um, but that's basically my collection of makeup. I usually don't wear a lot of um, eyeshadows, I don't really paint my nails a lot, I just leave it like whatever, um, but so, yeah, a lot of this stuff is just foundation and things like that, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, I, um, definitely look forward to posting next week, hopefully, um, I don't know if we have a theme for next week yet or not, but, um, look out for Diana's video on Friday, and I will see you guys next Wednesday, bye!